Hey, this is Casey James. Hey, I'm Danielle Peck. Hey, we're High Valley. Hey, y'all, this is Chris Jansen. Hey, this is Dean Alexander, and thanks for checking out. And thanks for checking out. Thanks for checking out. Focus, focus, focus on the 615. Focus on the 615. Greetings folks on the 615, it is Matt Williams and we are here at CRS 2013. Right. How are you? This is Mr. Austin Webb. Man, I'm doing fantastic. Yeah? yeah. CR it's my Happy first CRS. CRS. That's what I hear. Yeah. Happy CRS, I hear it everywhere. It's my <laughs> first one ever. Congrats. It's been amazing already. I got to go to the dinner last night for the Country Radio We Hall were there. Fame. King George Seeing Strait. George Strait was nuts to me. I never seen it in person. <laughs> Really? In my whole life so far, so that was neat. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, take us through. Now, we've got some idea of what we know what we go through at CRS, and we've got some idea of what the broadcasters go through at CRS with the classes and everything. What does an artist go through this entire week? Man, I think I don't really know. I've never done it. So, this is my <laughs> first one, but I'm guessing so I looked far. at my schedule so far. Um, well, my CRS has consisted of having three eggs and a cup of coffee, <laughs> and this is my first interview of the day. Um, I've never done it, but I mean, I'm assuming it's sort of like the remotes that I did, mm -hmm. where I just go around and meet people and greet. It's fun. Got to see it. I just like seeing all the artists, and I'm still a yeah. dang fan of everything, so it's neat for me. I know. Isn't that great? And, and I can't believe it. And just parties and George. exclusive shows and everything. I'm definitely going to drink some beers. I know that. That's the, that's the other thing. It's a party this week. <laughs> it's a party. I saw so many people that I had met on the road that already had a few drinks in them last night, so it was great. <laughs> it's fun. No joke about it. All right. Well, let's talk about you. You've got a new single, It's All Good. Sure, yeah. Yeah, tell us about that. Well, It's All Good was written in about 45 minutes, half a pack of cigarettes, some chicken alfredo, <laughs> and a glass of sweet tea. Swear to God. And um, I got music. A, yeah, I got a deal about six months ago with Byron Gallimore. And um, I wrote this song about seven months ago. We went in and cut it and ended up being the single. It's just about waking up beside this girl I was dating at the time and cooking her breakfast, <laughs> making a song about it. And she it turned out to be a single, and we're just all excited about it. Never had nothing to do like it before, so. That's wonderful. And uh, that's part of a full length that is coming out uh, sometime in the spring. Yeah, correct? that's right. Yeah, we, um, we're going into cut again in March 11th. So we're coming up really soon, and then I have a bunch of show dates coming up. But um, I can't wait. I can't wait to get back in the studio. I write so much. Mm -hmm. I've written like 14 songs in the past week, I think. And sure. it's just like <laughs> I never do that. I've been on this crazy writing rant, and I just I don't know, probably 200 songs this past year. So I'm, I'm super excited about everything. Now, tell us, out of you say what 200 songs in a year, or whatever it happens to be. Sure. I, how many get absolutely tossed out the window, and how many kind of filter the way into a like, oh, 10 man. or 12? Song it's got to be 50 50. You know, I want to cut everything I write because I think it's gold, you know, but of course. everybody thinks that when they get so when you create something brand new, it's like having a baby. You don't want to get rid of your baby, but you know what? I think I learned to figure out what's commercially viable mixed with what keeps my artistic integrity, mixed with all that together and then the production quality and we can figure it all out and make a record. All About right. 12 songs out of that, so yeah. Do you have a release date for the record? No release date yet, but um, I'm sure it'll be about just five months from now, something like that. And title? Maybe soon. I don't know yet. Maybe you can tell me. I, I really have no idea. I was thinking, I got all kinds of different things. They say you should do your name for your self debut. The, the self titled debut. But I might do something else, man. Maybe chicken grease or pickles or something. Chicken I don't know. grease and pickles. Chicken grease, pickles, and chicken, banana peels. Chicken Alfredo and cigarettes. That'd be a good one. <laughs> I should do that, yeah. There ain't no doubt about it. But it's neat, man. I'm excited. We're going on the road. I get, I'm getting a lot of shows with Casey James coming up. Casey Brad, James, we're interviewing him tomorrow. We yeah. caught up with him at Exit In. Yeah. Um, what, a couple He's weeks great, ago. He's great, man. He's fantastic. Trying yeah. to get him to cut one of my songs. He got it working it up now. I'm trying I'd to say get him save it for yourself. Hey, I would too, but hey, I want to get them all cut. We yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, that and some Brad Paisley shows and Thompson Square shows. I can't believe Wonderful. it, man. Good just, things happening, huh? Yeah, good things are happening. I was just pouring coffee seven months ago working at Starbucks. Okay. And now I'm doing all this CRS stuff. <laughs> it goes from no, zero to nothing. We, we broke Austin Webb right They here. broke this, me. This is the first interview of this CRS. This is my first of CRS first interview. CRS. I'm telling We're you. We're glad to have you. Not, I'm glad to be here. Now, I'm supposed to ask you, What's as that? a storyteller, as, as a songwriter, yeah. 
about your your arm sleeve here. Well, I got Patsy Klein here. This is this is a this is a, a go, novel, yeah. I guess. It goes all the way up. Yeah. Patsy Klein microphone. I had a leaf tattooed there. I got bored. I walked into a tattoo shop and said, <laughs> "Lay this on me, brother." I had a little few to drink, I guess. <laughs> then he put a rose covered over it. Um, piano keys to learn my chords. I had a. Are those a actually you can you can do that? And that's why I did it. Yeah. <laughs> so I could learn my chords and not have to worry about. It. I got a harmonica. With eyes, I'd, I'd assume that's hard to learn on your on, on your forearm. Oh man, it blows. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had that a radio, the running radio. I have my Basset Hound Archie, who's now dead. God rest his soul. Archie, God rest his soul, um, Archie. But um, that and just all kinds of crazy stuff. My ex girlfriend under my armpit. <laughs> you know. Right where the, she belongs. <laughs> the, us, the usual, the normal place to put them. Very cool. Now, what's this say? This is Old Dogs, Children, and Watermelon Wine, the Tom T. Hall song. My favorite Love country it. song Love in the it. world by Tom T. Hall. Greatest, I just one got of the greatest uh, titles of a song, too. I'm telling you. I just got it done about Christmas time. Oh, looks good. Looks good. It's healing up pretty dang good. So <laughs> we'll see. It, yeah. All right. Well, hey. Um, since it's CRS. Right. And this is a celebration of country radio. What is your favorite song on the radio right now, country or otherwise? Oh, good God, man. I, I think, uh, I mean, I obviously like one of those nights. I like uh, anything Aldine puts out. I like. New one, uh, 1994. That's great. Oh, man. Yeah. Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> if it, Night Train's a sick album, man. I it got is. that as soon as it came out. Um, I'm really excited to hear a uh, Highway by Tim when it comes out. Mm -hmm. It's probably out now, I think. It's, I knew it was his second single. But um, that, I mean, anything that Eric Church does, I'm a huge fan of Church. Absolutely. I'm really excited about Charlie Warsham right now. The young, yeah, uh, he's yeah, really yeah. great. I talked to him last night. I've always been a fan of his. I'm a big, I'm, it sucks for my career because I'm <laughs> such a fan of all these artists. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, I go in and I'm like promoting all these new artists that come out and it's just so neat to see it, you know? That's all right. Well, Hey, uh, now, now it's you. Hey, now it's you. You are one of that's them. That's right. That's what they say. I'm, we are I'm happy here for the to ride. have you here. Yeah. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Ain't no doubt about it. So new single is out. Is out now? It's out now. It came out the end of December. It's still climbing up. Mm. All right. We're all excited about it. So go check that out and uh, check out the new album, as yeah. yet untitled. I think uh, he's going to title it for me. Chicken Alfredo. Chicken and Alfredo and cigarettes. cigarettes. <laughs> it's I coming swear, out. Spring. What are you going to do if that's the title? Uh, we are going to be the most popular entertainment website for, for quite some time. <laughs> I love it, man. Austin Webb, thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you your much, CRS man. week. Thank you. All right. Loved it.